What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to a gameplay preview of Riptail. This is a press build, not that I would particularly consider myself press, but as always, full disclosure, this copy of this press build provided by the publisher. This game is hitting Steam Greenlight uh, today. I believe they are planning on a release for $5.99. Uh, and a date, I guess, you know, as soon as it gets greenlit or however long that process takes. But this is a 2D action platformer uh, that it has a monochrome art style. And uh, the core of the game here is the combat. And the combat involves this slashing and you can slash in any direction. So I would recommend using a gamepad as I'm doing here with Xbox One controller. Because uh, I, I can't imagine that a keyboard would feel super great uh, for this stuff. But you can see up in the top corner, or I'm, I'm sorry, the, the top of the screen... You have three gems, so you have to be judicious with your slashing, because you run out of gems, and then you can't do anything. Uh, and, you know, and obviously those recharge as you are playing through. Uh, if you get enough gold, you eventually can go to shops and get gems that do different things. Uh, and that's alright, I'm gonna hit start game here. Uh, I'm not super clear on what kind of game this is going to be. Obviously, it is a 2D platformer uh, with a monochrome art style, but... From what I've played, and this is pretty much, this build is meant to highlight the combat, which is, you know, certainly the, the core of the game. But I don't know if the final game is roguelike. I don't know if it's like Castlevania. I don't know if it's like Metroid. There, there are a lot of different kinds of 2D, you know, pixel-based platforming-ish games. And uh, from what I could see in their press stuff and from what, what I could see on the, you know, Steam page and whatever else, I really couldn't tell what kind of game this is going to be. So is it like level based? Is there an open world-ish nature of it? I honestly don't know. Um, I think like, I like the fact that it looks it, or it reminds me of games like Downwell and Mad World. Like, I think certainly the t the the black and white with just the red aste aste uh, aesthetic is uh, a good look and I like it, but I'm just kind of confused as to what you know the end goal here is, uh, because it's not super clear, uh, from what I've played thus far. Like, there's no end level, or at least I haven't found one yet, uh, there, there, there is a shop, you know, and I've done that. Oh, shit. Um, but, haven't found any real, hey, you finished a stage, or hey, you got a new item, or hey, you know, you can't do that in this build type stuff. It's just kind of, kind of like, hey, here's a stage, here's enemies, and I'm like, well, what's the point? How do you win? Are there bosses? Like, what is the deal? I'm really not sure. Also, I'm not really good at this game, but that's kind of neither here nor there uh, on whether or not I'm good at it. Uh, not kind of the point. Uh, and in this build, like, I dig this chiptune, you know, soundtrack stuff, right? It's cool, but in this build, there's only this song. And I, I, I gotta hope and imagine there, there's more than that, because as good as it is, and as jamming as it is, eventually it will get a bit repetitive. So I'm hoping that I, I come across a shop here, so I, I show off the shop mechanic and how you buy, you know, you spend the gold you're collecting buying uh, new gems, and those gems, you know, will uh, alter your combat style, and a big part of it is making your own combos. And I'm gonna die here if I'm not careful. Uh, so, you know, probably. Probably. I don't know. Well, nope. Game over. Alright, so we get back into it one more time, and perhaps I'll, I'll find a shop, and perhaps I won't. I'm, I'm not too... Worried about it. Rest assured, there is a shop, and you can get gems that, you know, make your slashing go differently. Uh, and that, you know, is part of, really, a lot of guys here. I'd say overall, like, if you're gonna have this kind of slashing mechanic, you might either want to have time slow down, or, like, I don't know. It's slowing down after the slashing to kind of highlight, you know, that stuff, but I feel like, uh, I don't always have the perfect amount of control that I want to have, and perhaps that comes with, you know, more practice. Uh, that would be a thing that, you, that you, you, you know, you would learn the systems better, but I feel like I am missing on ones that I, that I feel like that I should be making, and that can always be a bit, a bit frustrating. And also, running out of gems and not being able to slash or just taking a hit is also just kind of annoying, but you know, that's, the, that's just me. Uh, but yeah, the running around does remind me of a game that I liked a whole lot called Super House of Dead Ninjas, uh, which if, if, if you haven't played, definitely go check out. It is a fantastic roguelite uh, on Steam and I guess on other digital uh, gaming platforms. And, you know, 
It's good stuff. So, yeah, it kind of reminds me of a mashup of that and Downwell. But again, I'm not really sure what the genre is here, and that's kind of, I guess, my biggest concern is, you know, I need a purpose when I play games. You know, like, that's why I don't play Minecraft. Like, they're, they're, like there are things you can make yourself do, and, and certainly there is a last boss in, in Minecraft. But generally, you're making your own fun, and uh, I don't have the time for that anymore, really. Uh, you know, give me a goal in mind, and if that goal is, hey, get to the end to beat the boss, sure, fine, I am all about that, but, I don't know. This, this seems alright, this seems, you know, uh, fairly competently made, um, I'm not sure if it's a thing that I would ever play, you know, uh, if they hadn't sent me a press build, uh, but that's kind of, you know, the nature of, uh, my life right now is that there are all kinds of games that I'm like, oh, that looks kind of neat, and I don't have time for that. At all. Uh, I am in the middle of Yakuza 0 and Resident Evil 7, and, you know, Neo is out in, like, a week, and man, I am hype as fuck for Neo. So, you know, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get to a shop here, unfortunately. Let's see if I can blaze through some enemies here and find, like, there's no map, like, this is just... This, this build is supposed to highlight the combat, so, you know, there's, there's gonna be, uh, certainly, missing features, you know, and that's fine. Like, I get that, uh, but at the same time, I'm like, alright, well, now what? Like, I've gone through this a number of times, and died a number of times, and, you know, the combat generally feels good. Uh, I wanted, oh, I wanted that! Um, there we go, hearts, alright. Uh, but... So far, this, this pit seems endless, and you're just kind of doing the same thing over and over again, and again, as good as your, whoa, as good as your core concept may be, and I think it's pretty good, um, you know, I, I need more than that. I need, you know, some reason to be doing whatever the hell it is. Game over. I'm doing. So there you go, this is Riptail, uh, if you like what you see, uh, there's a green light link in the description, uh, more videos every day, and I'll see you next time, right here, on this channel, and I'm out.